Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. As you can see, I have a bunch of snacks in front of me, so you can probably guess what's gonna be going on in this video. Well, I guess you have also read the title. But anyway, today we're going to be trying a bunch of different Peruvian snacks. I bought these, some of these from a supermarket and then some snacks I bought from like a local market. As I've already been in Peru for over a month when I am filming this video, I've actually already tried quite a bit of uh, Peruvian snacks. I've tried the Inca Cola, the Chicha Morada drink, a bunch of different chips and stuff. So I had to try and find things that I haven't tried yet. Luckily, there's a lot to choose from in the supermarket, so that wasn't an issue. And I had someone Peruvian with me also in the supermarket, helping me choose things. In total, I think I have 13 different snacks here, so quite a lot. Not sure what we should start with. Maybe I should close my eyes and... Aha! We're gonna be trying these piggy candies first. They look pretty cute at least. Oh, they're very sticky. <gasps> it's all stuck together. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna eat all of them. Just one is enough, thank you very much. So one candy looks like this. It's a little piggy. Let's try. Mmm. <laughs> It's really nice. On the inside, it's like nice and gooey. It's like, yeah, it has like a filling basically. I could see myself buying this. I would say seven and a half out of 10. I have these chips. They are in the flavor olive, basil, and tomato. And sorry, there's a bit of ants over here, but I thought that sounded uh, very, very good. So they smell good at least. Looks like this, looks like pretty basic chips, I would say. Mmm. Mmm. These are really nice. I could imagine myself like having a barbecue and while you're cooking and barbecuing your food, you're having these a bit on the side while waiting. It has like a summery taste. <laughs> so it seems like so far we're off to a very strong start. The candy was good and these chips are really, really nice. What would I rate these? Hmm. I think I would give these chips an eight out of 10. So yeah, really good. I could buy these again as well. Good job so far, Peru. Next up, let's have some chocolate. So I bought this little chocolate bar. It's called Costa Vicio Crunch. Looks like this. Peru is known for having amazing food. Our time here in Peru, I feel like we've just been eating all the time. And during my whole time here, like I've had one meal that wasn't so good. And that was a pasta I had at the hostel. Everything else has been so good. It's crazy. Like the food here is so good. Back to the snacks. Let's try this chocolate. Looks like this. It has like these little bubbles on the bottom. Hmm, it's a really rich chocolatey flavor. I have a feeling I need to eat this all at one go or the ants will eat it or so I tell myself at least. <laughs> I think I would also give this an 8 out of 10. It's really good. So this is popped corn with honey. With popped corn. Do they mean popcorn? It doesn't look like popcorn. I think it's like corn popped but in a different way than you pop up corn. They look like, like this basically. Really weird. The taste is okay. Like it tastes like honey. The consistency is like of a one week old popcorn. It's like really soggy and chewy in a not such a nice way. It's like <laughs> That's what it feels like to eat this. Not such a fan. Well, I think I prefer regular popcorn over this popped corn. The taste is okay. It's quite a mild honey flavor, nothing special, but the consistency is not very nice at all. So I think I would give this uh, a five out of 10. I could eat it, but I wouldn't buy it again. I would buy popcorn instead. Next up, let's try these. I think it's like a chocolate cookie. It's in the shape of little dolphins. Uh, they're all completely crushed, but they basically look like this. Looks pretty good. What a weird consistency. Like the cookie itself is very crunchy. And then all these little tiny things are also very crunchy, like individually. So there's like a lot going on. It feels like when you're eating it. It's pretty good though. Nothing very special. So these cookies, I think I would rate uh, seven out of 10. They're good. It's nothing special. 
a bit of a weird consistency. Something that's very popular here in at least the South American countries we've been to so far is quinoa. And I found quinoa chips. These seem to be some kind of low calorie chips as well. So I think these are supposedly healthier chips than regular chips. So of course I had to buy these and try them and yeah. They even have a cute little llama on there. Let's give it a go. Look like this. They look a little bit like cheese puffs or something. Looks like this. Ooh, that was horrible. Ew. I have to try another one just to make sure. What a weird taste. First you get like a very salty flavor and then you get a really, really weird aftertaste. I think I would rather stick to just regular chips even if they have more calories than eat this. It tastes as healthy in like a bad way, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, these are not, well, these are not for me. I think I would give these a three out of 10. These chips are much, much better. Mm. Mm -mm. Next up we have another little candy bag. They look like this, like these little loops. And these seem to be from the same brand as the little piggies. So I have high hopes for these. I hope these will be as good or even better. Let's see. Okay. Look at this, the whole bag exploded. And oh no, the ants are already coming. <laughs> I need to hurry. Well, that did definitely not go. Oh, it's all falling apart. That was not supposed to happen like that. All the ants are super happy now because there's sugar everywhere. Let's try it. So they look like little rings like this. Mm. Ooh, I thought they would be like a bit hard, but they're the same as the, the piggies. They have like, it's like jelly kind of filling inside. They're also a little bit sour. I think I would give these seven out of 10. Pretty good. I probably will be eating this whole bag. <laughs> okay, next up we have some more corn things because in Peru, they love corn. So this is Inca corn. Oh, it says Chile picante. So I guess these are gonna be a bit spicy. Oh, I didn't realize that when uh, buying these. And these seem to be from Arequipa. We've actually been to Arequipa. I'll uh, link the video up here if you're interested in seeing that. Nice place. Oh yeah, there's a photo of a uh, Colca Canyon. That's funny because actually where we're staying now, the accommodation, the people we're staying with, we met at the Colca Canyon tour. So that's fun. It's also a bit like a popped corn, I guess. It looks like this. Very hard. Okay, the spiciness is kicking in now. Ooh, wah, wah. Actually, they taste pretty good, but they are spicy. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. The initial taste is not so spicy, but then it kicks. They taste okay, but they're too spicy for me and I don't really like the consistency. I think I would give these a four out of 10. Next up, we have these choco yogurt things. I'm not sure if it means that there's chocolate and yogurt inside of these, or if it means that you're supposed to eat these with yogurt. So they come in these individually packed little wrappers. I have a feeling that you're supposed to have like cereal or yogurt or something and then you like, pour one of these in there. We don't have yogurt now, so we're just gonna try it like this. Cheers! Mmm, yummy. It's kind of fun to eat. It's really good. Even if you're not supposed to eat it like this, I like it. I think I would give this a, a seven and a half out of 10. Everything's pretty, pretty good. What is it? The lowest score is a three. Not too bad. Okay, I still have four more little things and what makes these different or special from the previous things is that i didn't buy these at a supermarket i just bought these from like a local a little market i have no idea what what i have chosen like some weird white stuff let's start with these cookies so these are called the chaplin cookies i got recommended these apparently these are really really good so i'm excited to try looks like this quite simple let's try really hard at least mm. the taste is all right but it is very hard and dry i'm not sure if i like that 
Very simple as well. I find them maybe a bit boring. I think I would rate these cookies a uh, 5 out of 10. They're okay, but I wouldn't say these are my favorite. Okay, then I have these two. I think they are like the same thing, but a different flavor or something. Not sure what this thing is though, but they look like little chips, like in the form of a stick. Let's start with this one, the lighter colored one. So they look like this. Let's try. Very, very, very salty at least. These taste like oil. Like, I guess these have been made in some kind of oil. And I've had these like, like homemade local chips here that also have a bit of that taste, but these have that taste like super strongly. And it's yucking me out a little bit if I'm completely honest. So yeah, I don't think they're very good. I think I would give them a three and a half out of 10. Not very nice. Next up, let's try these ones. It's basically the same thing, but I think like a spicier version. I don't know. I don't have very high hopes for these because the first ones were not so good either. They look the same, but they're just a more darker color. Okay, now the spice is kicking in. I was wondering where it was. Blah. I think these ones I'm gonna rate a two and a half out of 10. Don't think I'm gonna be having any more of these. Okay, then we have come down to our last little mystery bag. I have no idea what this is. Little white rings. I chose these because they looked weird. <laughs> smells weird. Like, I don't even know if these are sweet or salty. <laughs> that was hard. Ugh. Okay. Awful. Oh. Okay, maybe it's better to just stick to the supermarket snacks. I have no idea what this is, what it is made out of, what it's supposed to taste like. I don't know how to describe it. Taste is just kind of yucky. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this one. I already tried. No, they're really awful. Rul tried these yesterday already at the market and he already told me he thinks I'm not gonna like them. I think I'm gonna give these uh, two out of 10. I guess if I would be dying of hunger, I could eat these but i wouldn't buy them so that was all the snacks that i'm trying today the winners were this inca chip bag and this little chocolate bar that i already ate these were amazing i would buy again and i would recommend and the loser of today was the mystery white ring chip thing i have no idea what these are if you know what these are let me know down in the comments so that concludes this little tasting video let me know down in the comments how you liked it if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye